So Yella, tell us about your uh, time trial setup. All right, so yeah, this is it. It's Cervelo P5, uh, the TT bike of Cervelo. Um, it currently, it's in its like training setup, so we don't have the proper wheels on, the chain on and stuff, but yeah, we got the Cervelo P5 uh, frame. It comes with, the group says like parts are Durais, parts are Ultegra, so it's a bit of both. Um, what else do we on here? We have a rotor power meter um, that I still had laying at home, so I put it on to have power, which, which is quite important, uh, especially in like long distance and like the, the race, like you basically ride a bit on power. We got two bottle cages here and then the 500 mil here, so I'll, I can carry two liters of water, 750, 750 and 500. We got actually these extensions, it's the zip, what is it called, zip VUCA. Uh, with 110 millimeters of difference between the top and the, the bottom. Actually just changed this before I had a bit of a lower drop but I want to sit a bit higher up. Uh, and then we have the, it's called 7.6 Project or whatever, uh, Garmin holder. It's quite easy to, to fit on it and then I can still see my Garmin while I have my bottle on. At the moment I have just training wheels on with the Schwalbe 1 uh, tires which I really like for training there. Uh, they have a lot of friction, quite good um, puncture resistance, so I, perfect for training actually. Um, then over here we can see I have already installed the Ceramic Speed oversized pulley. Still got to install the bottom bracket uh, Ceramic Speeds. And then in the wheels I will also have the Ceramic Speed uh, hubs, so that will be installed afterwards before the race. And then I will also install the, another chain for the race. So. Yeah, indeed, uh, we're gonna use a disc wheel from Hunt, Hunt wheels, a disc wheel in the back, uh, and then like a 60 mils, uh, quite high in the front. Um, so it's still, when there is wind, especially for Lanzarote, I will do 70.3 Lanzarote, where there's quite a lot of wind, so that it still be able to have some bike handling on that bike, and it's not like the 80s. So I think the 60 should be fine. Uh, in terms of position, you said you changed extensions. Did you yeah. go for a bike fit or anything, or have you done any aero testing for that? I have done a bike fit for my first race, so the bike fit was probably more in October. Uh, and then I still twisted a bit and changed a bit the position. I'm a bit my own bike fitter at the moment, but at one point I will go with a uh, hoop to the velodrome to do some proper aero testing. Um, I'm still quite new to this long distance thing, um, so I still have a lot of gains there. And I think it's a bit of process over years and I'm just at the beginning. So I will do that for sure at one point because I still think we can have a, we can have a lot of uh, power gains there or aerodynamic gains, um, but I haven't done it yet. We don't have it here, but quickly, which road bike will you be riding for uh, your short course stuff this year? Yeah, I will have also the Cervelo, but the S5. Um, but basically, this, well, th that one is actually with a SRAM 12 speed, a SRAM, what is it called, ETAP, RAT 12 speed. Also, we'll have the ceramic speed uh, stuff installed, like the oversized pulley, the bottom bracket, the chain. Yeah, that's about it. It's like a super fast bike, and I, I really love riding it. And um, yeah, so that's the road setup. Okay, so Aaron, you're up now uh, with the Giant Trinity. So, do you want to talk us through your setup? Yeah, so I got the Giant Trinity uh, Pro. Um, I've been riding, well, the, the Trinity has been my time trial bike for for as long as I've been doing um, non-drafting races. You'll have to excuse it a little bit. We're in the in the depths of winter in a, in a training block, so it's a little bit dirty at the moment. It needs a bit of TLC, which would definitely happen before the first race. So for training setup, we've just got this one standard drink bottle cage, but when it comes to race day, that will turn into an aero bottle um, on the front. Oh, sorry, in the middle here. And then on the front, um, <clears throat> you can see just here, there's that's where the hydration system sits in and, and locks in on this up here. Um, and so this, then it sits in the middle there. So you've got about a, a liter there at the front, normally for race day that you can drink during, um, whilst in the bars. And then you've got another another bottle cage here. Uh, running 55, 42 um, chain rings. And um, yeah, like I said, these are just obviously training wheels. I, I haven't been home back to Australia for, for all, well, over a year now, so I, I um, just am just training on these ones until I get my um, my proper training wheels back in Australia. But on race day, we'll have um, a Kadex disc wheel and a Kadex front wheel, which is a four spoke. Super fast, super aero. Um, I've used a few discs in the past, and that is 
by far the best disc wheel I've um, ever used. Very light and super, super fast. Front end here, um, I had a bike fit. So I've been riding uh, this, well, the Trinity bike for a while now and I probably got my first bike fit about four years ago. And because I was mainly focusing on short course racing, I just kind of went with that because it is very time consuming and you you can go down a rabbit hole and spend hours and hours and hours on a position and then end up worse than it was prior to doing it. So up until last year, I just kept, well this year, sorry, um, I just kept it as my, my normal setup, but um, now I'm doing a bit more long course. It's very important. We need to spend a lot of time on your position. And, and so that's what I've been doing, just tweaking it a little bit. Um, so yeah, we've got the drag to zero um, aero extensions with the Kismet uh, arm pads. And uh, I think there is, uh, that's a 15 degrees razor. I think the drag to zero razors come with 10, 15 and 20 degrees. Um, I found that for me, starting out 15 degrees was fine, which is um, pretty standard. When it comes to race day, like I said, I'll, I'll have a new chain on there and um, obviously give it a clean and then just yeah, switch across to the race day setup. Um, but for now, that's how I've been getting the miles done. And which saddle are you using? Uh, yeah, so the ISM uh, PS1.0. Yeah, I, I, ride, I ride them both on my, uh, my road bike and the time trial bike. I just find uh, you can get really forward with it, um, especially with a, with a short nose. Uh, you can get it quite forward and still be comfortable and it sort of helps me rotate my hips a little bit. 172.5 millimeter cranks probably um, at some stage will go to something shorter, probably 170, maybe even 165. But at the moment, I've just got it still set up the same as um, my road bike. Oh, and the Girage power meter. So obviously very important for, for long course racing to, well, to sort of race to power, but yeah, understand in, in training what the sort of demands are for, for races as well. So, uh, Yella, tell us about uh, where you think the uh, Olympic dream of uh, triathlon started for you. I'd say especially the Olympic medal dream. I'd say started in 2019 when I won my first WTS in Montreal. Uh, well, that's actually yeah, where I believed in myself, like it's possible to get a medal at the Olympics. Um, so I think that's where it all started. Leading forward into like slight heartbreak of 2020 when the Olympics was cancelled, um, and then into 2021, which turned into like a whole new story for you. Uh, tell us about kind of how that Olympic build-up went and uh, what emotions were involved in that. Yeah, and the 2020, I think, was for everyone a bit of a hard year with um, first the uncertainty about the Olympics and then the Olympics being cancelled. But I could easily move that aside and like knowing that I would be stronger in 2021 than I would have been in 2020. And 2021 season started well as well with my second place in Yokohama WTS and from there basically went downhill. I was here in Girona two and a half weeks before before the Olympics and was about to fly out to to Tokyo when I tested positive for Corona. And uh, well, that was probably the two hardest weeks of my professional career so far where I would do PCR tests every day, hoping to get a negative test because that's what the Belgian Olympic Committee said. Like if you test two times negative, which they said would be quick with you because you're vaccinated, then I, was able to still go to the Olympics, but every every day got the got the positive result back, and it was just like a very hard time mentally and also also physically because I did feel a bit from the corona, but I still wanted to train quite normal because I still had that Olympic dream and still held, had that dream of getting a medal there. But yeah, then when I knew the last day that I needed to have a negative test in order to be able to do the individual race, I still was positive. So then I changed my focus and didn't think about the Olympics anymore but then two days later I tested negative and I was able to do the relay so it was yeah it was a hard period with like lots of ups and downs and um, yeah there was days where I was sit sitting on the couch half of the day I didn't sleep well because usually the results would come in the middle of the night so I would wake up check my phone every two hours so it was a hard period. That was tough but you kind of bounced back uh, towards the end of 2021 in really spectacular fashion. Uh, really, I think to prove to everyone and probably to yourself as well that like had you have been there at those Olympics it would have been something special. Yeah and I think first I had another like low moment where I broke my wrist in a race in Montreal. Actually the first race after the Olympics I someone tripped me and I fell on my hand and broke so 
had another four or five weeks. Well, it actually went quite quick, but the swimming took a long time before I could swim again. And then I had one goal, which was WTS Abu Dhabi, and I really wanted to prove that I'm, that I'm still one of the best triathletes in the world. And by winning there, I think I proved that. And I think, uh, well, I showed there that, I'm, uh, that I can get a medal at the Olympics, and I didn't get it this time. So there is, th in three years, another chance, or now two and a half. So I think that's, uh, that's my main goal, and that's my motivation for the next two and a half years. And do you think, like, actually having to go through everything uh, that you went through in 2021 has made you mentally stronger do you feel like you're a better athlete for it yeah I definitely think so like for sure I can put everything a bit more in perspective and uh, for me that on sp sp the sports side of, of my life that was for sure the hardest period and for sure you get stronger out of it and you learn from it and you can, you can put other like low moments in perspective to that low moment and uh yeah, I think it just, it's also a bit of a fire inside me that I still have a lot to prove in this sport and a lot to prove in the Olympic triathlon distance. And um, yeah, it makes me very motivated, actually. I came, I came out of that period. Once, once I was out of it mentally and physically, I was super motivated and I still am, basically. Great. Thanks, Yella. Thank you. some hills on the program this morning I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I think we have eight times six minutes. Uh, Peter Epps uh, ending from one to eight and uh, I think that's going to go down and do some tempo effort, steady effort. But yeah, Wednesday, big aerobic day. Yeah, and it was just an easy swim this morning, you said. Yeah, just big day, easy. Just to take a shower. <laughs> Um, I noticed yesterday on the run session you were uh, doing some lactate testing kind of at the end of reps so how do you use that in training is that to dictate effort or is that just kind of information recording uh, so, as, so we saw through Drew is our assistant coach our main coach Joel is in Australia right now so it's another way to communicate with him on top of heart rate or feelings it's like a, a way to like have three indicators of how I'm doing. Yeah. And um, yeah, we start to to use it to uh, to have a better understanding of what we're doing, how I react to different type of sessions. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's another thing we we start to use uh, this season to make sure we don't go too hard and, and injure ourselves as I did the uh, last year. Yeah. And are you mainly targeting like short course racing this year? Or have you got any uh, 70.3 on the plan? So, uh, my main goal is Paris 2024. Yeah. Racing the Olympics, uh, long sold again. But, uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take a short distance. I wanna be world champion again, I think I can, I can do it. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go do some 70.3 up in the distance, maybe one or two a year. Super League indoors. Yeah. So I, I don't think I'll do it. It's a lot of races already. Yeah. And it's not really my type of effort. So I think I'm gonna skip that. Yeah. But, uh, I, I have the feeling these races are better to watch than to Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they are. They are good fun to watch, but they look pretty painful. So. I think there's just a couple of corners that are still wet, like up up the top. Yeah. There's like one real sharp hairpin on the way down, that's wet. So just be careful. Other than that, there's not really like too the, much. On the uphill part, on the downhill. Well, probably be careful on the downhill. Yeah, but we'll go easy after. Yeah. We'll be smashed, but. But there's a couple of sections that are quite 
well, still wet. Yeah. Okay. A lot better than last week, but <clears throat> still wet. So, Aaron, you're doing four? Yeah. So, I've got three different sessions. So, Aaron, you've got three, uh, four sixes, yep. and then your 30 minutes, yep. similar to last week. And you got eight sixes plus 10 minutes tempo. Thank you. And then we'll see how you go. We'll go, what, five to six? Yeah, five to six. Six be. minutes. And then we'll just descend and then you can just wait. And then I can go maybe behind back. him on the tempo to, be yeah. to go back home. Are you going to do the tempo on the way back home again? I think so, yeah. Depends yeah. of how long we have, but it's a bit... We might have to stop at one night, but... Yeah. Last week my 30 minutes was 10, 10, 10, but I think it's just 30 straight. It's just straight, like one all pace. Out. Yeah, all out. <laughs> Steady. 6.5 lactate. <laughs> 70.3 rhythm. Yeah. Oh, is that what that was? Okay. This one is. Yeah. yeah. Steady, 70.3 rhythm. How fast was it up the hill? Same as uh, yesterday. It's like just on energy, but we want to start a bit more like slower and then kind of progress over the, the rounds. So if we're going to go to six, you start off a bit more reserved and then kind of progress through one to six. We want to do five, then progress one to five. All right. All right. I'll do the first four on the black low cadence, around All right. 60. I can do that as well. So it keeps, keeps it a bit under control too. Yeah. As long as we're controlled for the first half and then you can progress from there. So okay. similar to like the swim. All right. All right. All right. Then easy spin back down and then we'll, you and Vince can regroup and then go up again. Okay. Just we let me know where you're finishing so I know where to go. Yeah. For the, for the lactate. So just let me know where you're kind of finishing. We do a four and eight? Yeah. Okay. But I just need to know how far I'm going up. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I'll I, I check on the... to have like a reference. To yeah. Okay. So just a good progression, alright? If we do five, then it's one to five. If we're doing six, then it's one to six. So just start off a bit more conservative and then progress through the rounds.
How's that feeling so far? Yeah, it's good. Right? Yeah, yeah. Between now we're building gonna... too much on the next fall. Yeah. Just keep it controlled. So first uh, first block of the session done today. Yeah. Four by six minute hills, how were those? Uh yeah, good. Good, good, I think. Uh, so I started around about <clears throat> 3.30 and then finished about 3.65, I think. Um that just trying to stay as much as I can seated <clears throat> and in the position so uh, sorry a bit sweaty um which is tough like it's kind of um meant or not mentally but you just got to be disciplined to really just keep that position uh in the and just trying to really sort of nail in that position and, and keep the watts quite high so it's quite tough especially around some of the bends and it kicks up a bit um but uh yeah no it's good so that's four by six done, and uh, now we'll roll down. It's probably about another 10 minute, 10 minute ride. Uh, and do the next part of the session, which will be um, 30 minutes, just time trial, uh, on a rolling course, but mainly flat, at hopefully 70.3 pace, so half distance pace, or power, which I don't actually know for sure what my power will be, but I'm hoping for about around about 310. So after those efforts, this 30 minutes should just feel steady. Um, I'll take some nutrition on board um, just to work the gut as well at that sort of intensity. Yeah, yeah so. Good stuff. On, on with the next part of the session yeah, then. Exactly. gel then for just for the start just to get used to the food is it yeah i just yeah. had one gel then um just we're doing a run off even though it's an easy run as well just want to make sure you're feeling probably um, and yeah i've done a bit now practice the nutrition but it's always good to keep reinforcing that and uh making sure you can continually practice it do you have any, like, what do you have in your bottle? Is it just electrolyte or do you have cards uh, as well? No, I've got a sports drink here and water there. Okay. Um, I think we might have taken the wrong turn.
targets? Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> like, average 317, I think. Um, that might be pushing the upper limit of my 70.3 pace, I'm not sure. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, you know, I finished 30 seconds ago and I, uh, Two out of breath, I don't think. Yeah, the heart rate seems to be coming down quickly anyway. Yeah, so. yeah, so I think, yeah, it's easy to say in training for 30 minutes that that should be around about the pace, but you really never know. And I, I haven't done enough of them to know exactly what my pace is, but anyway, it was 30 minutes at a yeah. steady effort. And uh, so, in the race, how will you pace it? Or uh, will it be mainly on feel, or are you going to work tomorrow when you're racing? Both will be kind of like two power, but by the end of the day, still.